Hey guys, Blue Bear Crypto back with a follow up video to the problems that I was having with the Avalon Nano 3. I'd say I've mostly got them sorted. There is some things that are out of my control a little bit. So I'll go over them first. I had a comment saying that someone was struggling to change the pool settings in the GUI, like within a browser. I was having the same problem where if I changed to a different mining pool, it would show me the zero ping and it'd have like a red circle around the connectivity section there. The only fix that I've got for that for me was just basically flipping to and from pools. Sometimes I could flip from one pool to another pool that didn't work previously and then just flipping back to it again would make it work again. That seems to be some sort of software issue, something that I can deal with. It's just a case of just trying a bit and seeing what works and um, some pools do work and some pools don't so i've managed to find a pool that does work the other issue is that changing the pool settings within the app i'll save all the details and go out of it and then go back into it and then the details will have just reverted back to the previous settings so they wouldn't have actually saved that's just what it is that's just a software issue as long as it does change in the gui then it's not the biggest pain in the world they're the two main things regards to the difficulty which i was having issues on on two miners so i think the issue wasn't the nano um i think you probably get this with a lot of low hash rate miners i think the difficulty in the shares that it was given sometimes it would give you shares that are a high difficulty and maybe too high for what the actual miner can deal with within the block times the way that i've got around that and something that i've had to like research and look into is setting the difficulty on your miners so with the avalon nano for me i think it's like 4.19 tera hash in terms of hash rate that it can do so if you want to set the difficulty so it is constantly mining at what it says it can mine at uh, meaning that you don't get as much of a fluctuation or variation the only variation will come from like your network speed if you've got a low ping then you obviously won't share as many in that section of time but yeah the way to work out your difficulty i'll put a link to these if you want to check them out your difficulty equals your hash rate which would be 4.1 uh 4.18 tera hash my calculation would be 4180 times 2.3 and that equals the difficulty and then the way to set that on the miner is you would go to the mine and pool settings on your gui your mobile app if that magically works for you and you'd set as, as the password you just do d which is difficulty equals and then the number that you get so that's your um, hash rate times 2.3 and that gives you that number when you set that that means that the mining pool will only give you shares of that specific difficulty, which means that you won't get any that are higher than this. You won't have missed shares on your pool because your miner wasn't able to hit them in the time that it was given. That will sort the variation out. I actually moved off two miners as well to go to an actual solo mining pool. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but the way that these work, you're in a pool with a load of miners and essentially the, the miner that hits the block out of your mining pool is the one that gets it. I had a mining pool suggested to me of Lucky Miner um, and I've moved to that one and this is fairly stable. We've got no dropouts um, and I think that's to do with the difficulty being set at the right setting. Really happy with that. Um, I can confirm the Nano 3 didn't have an issue in terms of staying on a pool. Once it's set, it's it's all good it works my problem is getting it initially set on that pool it doesn't seem to want to just straight up connect to some and if it does if it is happy connecting to one and then you go off it to just check another pool and then go back on it it doesn't want to connect after that i'm happy to recommend lucky monster i'm also happy to recommend retro mike's pool because um, i gave this one a try at the start and i don't think there was any issues with this pool it was just a case that when i switched over to this it, it didn't want to connect on that time that um, i first tried so um, check out retro mike's pool um, it seems to work fine when i first connected to it and the the hash rate was low was just due to um, the mining pool working out what difficulty shares to give to the nano 3 in order to basically get it at the right level so it would have built up to the difficulty that it can do and then evened out because it knows that that's sort of the optimum 
difficulty for the miner. Uh, but same again, if I connected back to this one, then I'd be able to just set the difficulty with D equals and then whatever my number was. We're mining on Lucky Monster, Soleil Mining Pool, Bitcoin Cash, all is good. I think I will just leave the Avalon Nano updates there. I have a feeling that earlier models might have more of these software issues, but I'm not 100%. It's all just guessing at this point, but um, a lot of people are saying more recently that they're not having any issues, but I do get a lot of people also saying that they get all of the issues or some of the issues that I have. So it's it just seems like an even split. It seems like a bit of a look of the draw on if yours is okay if you guys have got any questions on anything uh, just let me know but i don't have any fixes i thought i was going to try and find a fix for when i'm switching mining pools but i just don't it was just a case of trying to go back to one and then trying to go back on it again and um, maybe changing some of the details like the stratum at the front of the address but i don't think that really made much of a difference in the end it was just a case of sometimes it was happy to lock onto a pool and sometimes it just didn't want to so i'm going to stick to lucky monster for now i'm just going to hopefully leave it and hit a block within maybe the next 100 years we'll see all right see you in a bit guys mm -hmm.